Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. You probably cannot see the temperature on here, um, but right now it just went down to 76 in the camper. Uh, the air conditioning is on. So the topic of this video is can you run air conditioning off-grid with the solar system? And the answer is yes you can. <laughs> so um, I, uh, you can hear the unit here is going. So we're going to go outside. So anyway, today is still the 2nd of June. It is still Thursday, 2022. All right, so there's the air conditioning unit on the top. It's going. I have the air conditioning on, uh, bringing the temperature down. Right now, we just hit a little overcast, cloudy patch. Uh, and... You can hear the grow watt working because it's obviously working to pull that power. Uh, one adjustment I'm going to have to make, uh, and I just wanted to run this over by you. We're starting up the air conditioning. Uh, it's a heavier pull on the power, uh, you know, system. It uh, definitely it's a it's a, a boost of power because an air conditioning pulls a lot of amperage. Well, I have a 15 amp breaker. In here right now at this level here so hopefully you can see that right here I'm gonna switch this one out and I'm gonna get a 20 amp breaker uh, it should alleviate any problems once the air conditioning's on it's fine um, so it's not not a problem but uh, you know that's um, that's how that works so it uh, it definitely will uh, will trip the system so it is, uh, but it is possible, and it's not like I have a big array out here, guys. I don't. I have uh, uh, about t it's. I have six 360 watt panels. So let's see, we have 18, uh, 2160 watts is what we got uh, with our solar system. So uh, I could actually put in another array just as big. And stuff like that and it would generate more power and on those um, you know very hot sunny days it would uh, it would definitely pull it in better um, that way so uh, that's kind of how that is like right now you can see we got the clouds moving and we did have some rain come in earlier actually I should go look at the buckets and I can kind of tell you how much rain we had here I don't even oh yeah yeah we had some rain look at the bucket is full all right, so I've got to move that bucket out of the way. I guess we had more rain than I thought. I mean, I knew that the, the, it had gone through. I'm going to put the next one here. So, now I will take... Put the lid on that one. It's actually got more water than, yeah, a little bit, little full. Should have probably poured some of that into the next one. So we got to go on the other side here. So this is how I am collecting. Uh, this one doesn't have quite as much. Let's see. Ah, because it's missing a little bit. All right, so we're going to, all right, so that one's not quite as full. But that's how I get my water um, for, you know, washing up and stuff like that. It works. <laughs> it definitely works. So, we'll take this one up over here. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good system. It works. I have plenty of water. Uh, like I said, we and I know it was just a shower that came through earlier, so that one got completely full. And uh, you know, this one is almost full as we speak. So, actually, I'm gonna take these ones are yeah, those ones are not working ones. <laughs> I I had brought these down, not realizing there's holes in the bottom of those ones. So those ones are not ones we can use, but. Uh, I have these two here, obviously the one we're using there. Uh, now I just switch that out so I can fill up a few more buckets. 
and uh, that will give us more rainwater. So, oh, um, I wanted to give you guys an update too. So one of my group members uh, called me up, Ronnie, and he said, you really got to get a riding lawnmower down here. I'm like, yeah, dude, I know, but I can't, you know, I can't afford any kind of, you know, major crazy price for a lawnmower. And he says, well, I got a lady that I know, uh, she's got a lawnmower that she had serviced every year. She's not using it anymore. Uh, let me go see what I can do. Are you interested? And I said, yes. And she wanted 400 bucks for this lawnmower. So he went and checked it out, rode it around and stuff like that. Uh, definitely will work. So um, he grabbed it. I'll pay him when he brings it down here. So I will have a riding lawnmower down here. You guys are right. Um, I definitely needed a riding lawnmower. This is, uh, I don't mind pushing it, to be honest with you. I will continue to do some pushing. But, uh, you know, when the, when it's this high, like it's too high right now, it just doesn't work. And, you know, I still have that part here to catch up to that part. And you can see this is growing already. So I need to get ahead of it. <laughs> Um, you know, so that's what we're going to end up doing. Um, so I will be having a riding lawnmower down here at some point, hopefully very soon. And, uh, we will, we will be good to go that way. So looking forward to that. So, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'll tell you what I did today. Um, these gauze bandages that when I have on my hand, okay. Dollar store special. Uh, you know, now it's a buck twenty-five. Everything used to be a dollar. Now it's a buck twenty-five. So there's a Dollar Tree, I don't know, 10, 12 miles away. And uh, oh, look at this! I've got to show you guys this. So with the rains, and I was, I was like, yeah, I better water, but I knew it was going to rain today. So that area that where there was nothing, we got stuff coming up through here now. Um, even over through in here. So that's a good thing. So that's, uh, I gotta look here. And now, so even in here, there's one, two, three, four uh, growing in there now. So I think we did put like four potatoes in that one. So I wanna go in here and I wanna look at this one spot. What do we got here? I think that is, I hope that's not a weed. We will see. But uh, yeah, so we got more potatoes coming in here, and that's a good thing. We got potatoes coming in down over here, and like all through here, it's all coming up now. Uh, it looks good. Looks good. We're going to have a good potato crop out of here. And uh, like I said, r literally, folks, you could survive on eating nothing but potatoes. Now, obviously, uh, with having a group, this little potato patch would not cut the, you know, would not cut it, obviously. But, um, for getting something in the ground this year, it was a start. So now it's in here, and that was one of the things that I wanted to make sure that we got done. And so that's a good thing. Let's go over and look at the, the bushes over here. And they're coming in. They are coming in a lot more. More of them are coming in, so I think, uh, yeah, it looks like almost this entire back row of them have come in already, and most of the ones in the front row. So we're gonna have a lot of these things, <laughs> uh, and I know the ones in here are doing well as well. So not bad, not bad. We'll take it. But anyway, so that's what's going on. But so anyway, if you want, if you wanted to know, can you run air conditioning off-grid and be able to cool a camper, uh, to cool a small house? The answer is absolutely yes. Uh, the bigger your solar array, the less of a strain it will be on your system. Uh, you know, so you have to think about that as well. And so that's uh, kind of important as well. So just some things to think about. Uh, but it is absolutely doable. And, uh, you know, so... It does get warm in that camper, I'm not going to lie. So with getting it so that it can be cooled down is definitely a good thing. So that is where we're at, but uh, garden's looking good. We're getting water production today. We should be getting some more rain, it looks like, 
which is okay as well. All right, guys, for a one moment, please cover your ears. Oh, I can't get the whistle out. Hold on. There we go. So we'll see where she comes running from. She's doing so well. Uh, unbelievably well. There, see? Look at that. What? There's a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I love that. I mean, you know, if she's out of sight for too long, I give her the whistle. Make her come back up here. But she's uh, definitely getting into more exploratory range. She wants to see what her environment is and where she can go and what she can get into. So that's all right, too, though, now. All right, guys. Well, I am going to jump off of here. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope that answers your question. I kind of explained it a little bit. Uh, there's a, uh, again, just for so you understand, when you turn on that air conditioner, it's a very big amperage draw. So you got to make sure that your system can handle that amperage pull. Because once it's started, it's fine. But that initial starting is what the, there's definitely, you know, uh, a pull with that so you have to pay attention to that so it's something to think about ahead of time but air conditioning very doable off-grid uh, you know I don't run it all day long I'll, I'll run it cool off the um, the camper and then I generally have the windows and the door open and have a fan running and that's generally good enough uh, but uh, so that's the way that goes but you can see pretty dark all through over there and if we turn around back here, you can see it's really dark up through here. So I believe we have more rain coming, which is okay. Uh, remember, folks, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. Uh, that is definitely what we need to be focusing on and realizing. Uh, also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that is going to stop you from reaching your goal is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And, uh, you know, you will be just fine. Keep prepping. Keep taking care of your business. All right. Have a wonderful day. Prepping Nurse One and Miss Hella. Miss Hella, you want to say goodbye? Yes? All right. We'll see you later.